guys welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome to yet another book video on my channel i am actually super excited for this video i've been kind of struggling with trying to find ideas but i came up with this idea and i'm super excited i'm going to be going through my entire bookshelf and talking about all the books i have not read yet so basically this is just going to be my physical tbr books that i'm excited to read and just all the books that i own that i still haven't read we're going to be doing that i love my book videos as you guys know and i'm super excited to get on to this one so we're just gonna get started because i have a lot of books that i have not read yet <laughs> all right so we're just gonna get started on this top shelf i have a lot of stuff like on my bookshelf yeah i guess this is basically a bookshelf tour as well i don't know um let's see let's start off with this one so this one is the simple wild by k.a tucker i didn't exactly dnf it i wasn't like okay i don't like this book i'm gonna stop reading it i just wasn't really enjoying it at the time that i was reading it so i did stop reading it and also the fact that i did not know that this was a trilogy because there's two other books other than this one i wasn't really ready to have another series go on so i just stopped reading it for the time because it was summer whenever i started this and i just was like no i don't want to read a fall book where it takes place in alaska right now so the second book that i have which is pretty thick like this is literally 800 pages is midnight sun by stephanie meyer i don't particularly love this cover but i do know i want to read this this is twilight but an edward's point of view which excites me so much but i just have not read this yet because it is massive but i really want to read this in october i'm really waiting for it to like be fall and for leaves to change colors and everything before i really read this because this is just not a summer read so in the fall i will be reading this and then the next three is the stay with me trilogy by nicole fiornia i don't know that's the name but i have this trilogy have not read it yet but you have stay with me even when i'm gone and now open your eyes i've been seeing this series a lot on instagram i don't think i've seen anybody really read it people just like take pictures of it i do want to read it i know that i just haven't read it yet but this series is basically about a girl she goes to a reformatory college in the uk dangerous young adults who viewed the private institution as their own personal playground she kept her head down and then she meets ollie masters she has like mental issues and then he i don't know kind of helps her maybe with that kind of stuff i don't really know all i know is that i'm kind of excited for it because i love books that take place in europe the next one is i hate like this by violet bloom i really really want to read this book guys but i recently got this book it is a grumpy sunshine but the boy is sunshine and the girl is grumpy they are also childhood enemies to lovers um they have a secret it's also a forbidden romance because she's a part like her family's a part of this gang and his dad is the sheriff as soon as i saw that it was grumpy sunshine but the girl was grumpy and the guy was sunshine i just knew that this book was for me i'm so excited to read it but guys the text in here is so small like that is so small i'm still gonna read it and then we have the wicked love by prue shyler sheeler i don't know this one is the second book in the series which i thought you could read it as a standalone but you can't because the third one is the one that's supposed to like wrap it all up the wicked truth is the first one i do want to buy it but it's also on kindle unlimited and i really want to read this book because this one is another grumpy sunshine but the girl is grumpy and the guy is sunshine next one then we have sweet dandelion by michaela smeltzer this is the same author who wrote the confidence of wildflowers duet i bought this book before reading that duet but this one is about dandelion meadows she is 18 and she has this like romance with this this guy who is a lot older than her he's like the school counselor and she is one of the students at the school i don't really know i didn't know much about this whenever i bought it i'm still gonna read it because i bought it but like i'm kind of scared if i'm gonna like it or not i don't want to take these out <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie i don't feel like taking these out but the next three is addicted for now kiss the sky and hot house flower Callaway sisters addicted series duet i'm not gonna talk about it because i everybody knows what those books are about but yeah i have not read these three and i'm not gonna take them out because i just don't feel like it that is the first shelf so far i have i took eight books off of the first shelf but the bottom shelf is where all of my unread books are because these are just my favorites up here are the most i'm excited to get to now we move on to the bottom shelf all right i'm gonna be out of frame for this one just a tad bit but this is the bottom shelf i have a lot of unread books on here i just have a lot of books um i have some books like behind this picture frame i have some books behind that book it's a whole mess down here but let's talk about it so the first one that i have is all your perfects by colleen hoover this is basically a marriage like 
in distress and they come to love each other again. I personally really love this cover more than the new one. I don't like the new one. I literally bought it a day before the new one went on Amazon. So I'm very happy that I got the old one because I did not like the new one. Next one is Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. I do have a bookmark in it because I started reading it and then I just decided that I did not want to read it right now. Don't know why. Just didn't feel like picking it up. So yeah, I probably will go back and read it. Just don't want to right now. But basically this is about this girl moves to this town. She's new. She just graduated college. She meets this guy who does not speak and I don't know. I don't really like it so far, but I am going to finish it one day. It's my pile of books. Okay. All right. So the next one, which is kind of funny, is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I was supposed to read this my junior year of high school. Never did because my junior year got canceled, but I do have this book. I still want to read it. I just haven't. The next one is All the Little Things by Rachel Lee. This is actually my next read. That's why it has a bookmark in it. This is a brother's best friend romance. He tries to like forget about the romance, but then he comes back into her life. I'm so freaking excited for this book. You have absolutely no idea. Brother's Best Friend is my favorite trip of all, all time. So if this book is not good, I think I'm gonna throw hands. And then behind here, I have a lot more books. If I'm being completely honest, I have read the first two books, but it's been at least four years oh, since I've read it. So I'm just gonna count as I have not read any of these because I don't remember anything about them. But this is the Field Party series by Abby Glines. I like to call this series the Young Adult Off Campus series because that's basically what this is because instead of a college, it's high school football players. Let's go through each one. So the first one is Until Friday Night. This girl moves in with her aunt, uncle, and cousin, and then her cousin's best friend, and they start to fall in love but she is mute be just because of a lot of trauma that she had and he the guy has a lot a lot of family struggles it's a really good book i do remember that i just have not read it in such a long time but i just remember loving this book the next one is under the lights don't know what this one is about willa and brady and gunner lawton it's basically a best friend romance but between three people two guys one girl a love triangle i love love triangles though so that's just me and then you have after the game this is one with a kid you know that from the back of the book with one of the guys from the friend group that's all i know about it the next one is losing the field don't know what this is about yeah continuing on and then we have making a play this is the last book in the series i believe it kind of wraps everything up and then you also get one more romance in here these two covers are my favorite covers i can't get over them they're just so beautiful and amazing i need to read this series because i like i love love books like this and the fact that it's a series yes please and then the next book is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Basically love in other words, but set in summer. Yeah. And then we have The Summer Broken Rules by K.A. Walther. Walter? They go to a wedding in Martha's Vineyard. Game of Assassins. They meet. They're on the same team. They fall in love within a week. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to like this book, but... I'm very excited for the setting of it. That's mainly why I want to read it. I have not read these two Bridgerton books yet. We have An Offer from a Gentleman and To Sir Philip with Love. There is a book in between these two. I just don't own it. This one is basically a Cinderella retelling and this one is Eloise's story. This one's Benedict's. I'm mainly excited for these two. I don't really care to read Colin and Penelope's story, but I probably will just so everything makes sense in here. I don't feel like grabbing these books, but down here, you guys can see it. I have the Ravenhood trilogy by Kate Stewart. I literally was told to go into a blind. I kind of know what it's about a little bit now, but I have not read it yet. I don't feel like grabbing it. But then we have Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I'm actually really excited to read this. I know it's a fantasy book. I don't usually read fantasies, but it is like cat and mouse. It is enemies to lovers. She's a thief. He is a prince king type of person. I am so excited for this book. I love books like this. My favorite thing is literally this. I love this in books so much whenever they do math inside of it. I think it's beautiful. The artwork's amazing. Now we're down to our last three. Then we have Shadow Me by Tahira Mafi. I want to read this entire series. I heard that the first one is not good, but the second one is amazing. I will be reading all the novellas. I'm really going to try to read at least half of it before the end of the year. I'm super excited for this, guys. You have absolutely no idea. I just am waiting for Amazon Prime Day so I can order some more books, depending on their sale. I'm super excited to read this, but I think we all know what this is about. It's a disturbing 
dystopian world so it's not exactly fantasy this girl her name's juliet she has a lethal touch there's someone that she can touch that she doesn't kill and that's basically the whole premise of like oh my gosh i didn't kill you kind of what's going on i think she's captured like in a cell by the government i don't exactly know but i've only heard good things the second to last book that i have on here is pride and premeditation by tazara price i believe that's how you say it it is a pride and prejudice retelling basically darcy mr darcy is a detective and elizabeth bennett she kind of wants to help him in this murder that has been going on no darcy is a lawyer and lizzie bennett is a law student sorry i thought they were detectives they're not but they go on this case together and then they find out that they have feelings and it makes everything complicated and they might get killed that is all i know about this i saw this in barnes and nobles one day and i was like i just read pride and prejudice i'm gonna love this book so i bought it i still have not read it i probably will be reading this in october as well just because of the vibes it gives me and the very last book is the ninth house by leah bardugo i will be reading this book in the fall it only gives me fall vibes like look at this cover i am so happy i got this cover with like the orange snake instead of just the black and white this book takes place in yale with the freshman class there is a bunch of secret societies with the rich and powerful now there's a dead girl on campus and basically they're just trying to solve this murder case i don't usually reach for books like this but i saw like the aesthetic for it and i saw people like posting annotations of this book and i knew i needed to read it just because of the setting it just seems so amazing to be in a place like this i will be reading this again in october my october tbr is kind of high but it will get there you know what i mean so yeah i'm super super excited for this book do you guys want to see all the books that i plan to read yes i literally have two full stacks of books right here this is a lot of books this is literally over half of my books that are on my shelf so those are all my physical tbr books i know i kind of was going through everything rapidly but i didn't want to stay too long on one book because i knew that there were just going to be a lot of books i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe i really enjoyed making this video i love talking about books i know i was confused for a lot of them be like i don't really know what this is but that's fine thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want more book videos let me know in the comments and i will see you all in my next one